Harvey Oxiger came to Colorado A&M from Eaton, Colorado and became a starting lineman for all three years he played. Well, I played uh, high school ball with him at Eaton here oh, in the late 40s. Then he was a year ahead of me and I, uh, I followed him over to CSU uh, a few years later, you know, so. He played both ways and everything. We played uh, quite a bit. Uh, he was just a hard-nosed football player that played the game the way it should be played. He was a, a tackle and uh, really recognized as one of the best ones in the region. And that proved out to be true in that the fact that, that uh, he did make all-conference a couple of times in All-America. The Aggies had a 17-11-1 record during the three years Harvey played. He showed great leadership that caught the attention of his teammates. Probably as much of anything as, as leadership. Uh, you know, when Harvey spoke, people listened, that type of thing. He was quiet, he wasn't allowed, but he did it, he followed. And uh, I was quite in awe of him because I was a pretty much a young kid when he first started it. And uh, so, and here's this great big moose, you know, I, I was quite taken with him. He, he wasn't a raw, raw type of guy. He was a leader by example, more than anything, you know. He just, uh, he played the way the game should be played and uh, no nonsense, no showboating or anything. He just, and uh, just one great athlete, I thought. Harvey went on to play one year in the Canadian Football League with the Hamilton Tiger Cats before retiring from football. Harvey does deserve to be, to receive this award because he was a, a team leader. Uh, we looked up to him. I'm glad to see Harvey get, get in and be set alongside of guys that played in his era, which is McGraw and Dardrill and Tuffy Mollison and uh, my high school teammate, Bob Weber. Those guys are already in and, and I'm glad to see that he's one of them.